football and, and let's switch into the Knicks and talk about their new draft pick, Ob Toppin, at number eight. You like that core of Mitch Robinson, R.J. Barrett, and Ob Toppin. This is young energy that they're bringing to Madison Square Garden. So, what are your thoughts on that core and what the Knicks are doing? I, mean, I really love the pick. I, I'm I'm really curious to know. This is something I would love to know if they really thought Obi would even be there. Like, were they planning around their draft, knowing that they would have a shot at Obi? Because it felt like he slipped a little bit. Uh, I think having those bigs and Robinson and Obi is going the direction that basketball's been going. You know, I'm looking forward to seeing Obi knock down some threes. You know, uh, everyone talks about the defense stuff like that. You know what? Mitchell Robinson makes up for a lot of stuff on defense and. Uh, Just the story of it, you know, Brooklyn native coming to the garden. We haven't really had that feel in a while. So uh, I think he's going to electrify the place. And I love the direction that this team is going in. Yeah, look at that. I just want to see that at MSG. I'm just ready. I'm ready to see it. I'm I'm a big fan of Obi. Um, I am too, Jerry. Obi is fantastic. And he's such a great young man and has such an incredible story. You mentioned, though, the defense. Tibbs is back in the building as a head coach uh, for the New York Knicks. He is someone who's known for defense. Just of what you know as a basketball fan, as a Knicks fan, what are you looking forward to under his leadership? See, I'm of the age where I remember Tibbs as an assistant coach. So I've been I've been seeing Tibbs my whole basketball fandom. Uh, And I, I really do think that. He was someone I was really interested in even before we went to Minnesota when he was trying to figure out what his next move is. So obviously he took the Minnesota job, but uh, I like that he's taking a little bit of a break and now he's back. And I think that, yeah, between Mitchell Robinson on the back end, Tibbs coaching up the defense. I mean, I, I, I love the hire and uh, I'm just I'm just ready to see it. I wish it was tomorrow, but I've always been a big Tibbs fan. What he did with those Bulls teams were really special, right? Can't You know what I'm saying? Those Bulls teams did a lot of things on the Tibbs. Definitely feel you on that, Jerry. Just get used to the phrase from from Thibodeau, do your job. Get used to hearing that phrase a lot. That's what he's going to say in his post-game pressures all the time. So let's let's change sports and let's focus on the Giants. I know you're a huge Giants fan, man. And we had Nick Mangold on, our NFL contributor, early in the show. And he talked about that beef between Mark Colombo and Joe Judge. And it's not really beef anymore because Colombo has been fired. But uh, what's your thoughts? on that situation of Joe, of Joe Judge, just like, nah, this is my, my thing. If you're not riding with me, you're out. What, do you, what are your thoughts on that? Well, you know, first off, after also remembering just the size of Mark Colombo, I was glad to hear that it wasn't as physical as people were once maybe saying. But I'm a, I'm a big Joe Judge fan. I think the Giants have gotten better and better every week. I think it was real scary out of the gate. Obviously, then they lose Saquon. And, you know, Daniel Jones' development seemed to be stunting. He was throwing the picks. He was making bad decisions. But now you look. I had this argument with uh, someone on my fantasy football podcast the other day. Like, look at the NFC East. You know, obviously we don't have Dak, which is terrible. But Carson Wentz, Danny Dimes, I'm I'm taking Danny Dimes right now. I just think the team has gotten better every week. The team clearly likes him because they're playing so hard for him. And I don't know if this is saying a lot. But to me, Giants are the best team in the NFC East. Call it what you want. Call me crazy. And maybe that's not even a big statement at this point. But uh, And I look at the schedule. <laughs> oh, Evan Ingram would have just held on to that third down pass. We would have beat the Eagles twice. But, uh, I, I mean, we might sneak in there. We might sneak in there. It doesn't matter that it's not saying a lot, but it says worse to be the worst of a division that is struggling. So I feel you, Jerry. Let the Giants win the division. They need to do what they got to do. Since we're whipping around our New York teams, we know that you're a Yankees guy. The news is Steve Cohen, though, taking over for the Mets. Are you feeling a little bit of heat from the Mets in terms of the affection of New Yorkers and, honestly, this upcoming season? Zero heat. <laughs> zero. I am feeling zero heat from the Mets and Steve Co- well, I, Zero. None. Nothing. Okay? I am so comfortable in that situation of baseball in New York with the Yankees. Like, zero. Zero heat. Nothing. I feel nothing. Bring it on. We're waiting. We're waiting. Okay. for. Come on. Let's do it. I, I would love these New York right. Subway right. Series games to be, to be a thing. Bring it on. 